hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a kind of video showing you all my coloring supplies and art supplies that i've got in my collection um i think i've got quite a few i didn't realize i had this many but to some people i haven't got much i've seen people with a lot more but i thought i would just go through everything um talk about the different things that i've got and kind of just show you and tell you my thoughts on them all my stuff is budget i don't think anything i own is over 25 pounds because i am all about cheap i love things that are affordable and cheap so um it might be good if you're looking for more affordable things as well so do stay tuned i will try and link everything down below that i can but let's get straight in to the video okay so i'm going to start off with all my paints because i feel like that's where i've got the most supplies because i love paints i really enjoy painting so i've got various different paints so i'll start off with these ones these were a recent um pickup which i have shown on my channel and these are the himmy paints um and this is the type of paints these are watercolor paints but they are very interesting um in the way that they are like really almost like acrylic paints so they come like this they look like that i have done a whole video talking about these so if you are interested in seeing that do check that out i believe these were around 20 22 pounds on amazon so really affordable i know aliexpress i think do some of these i did look on timu um i've never found these on timu so yeah i've not found them yet they come in this really lovely case they came with obviously that palette um some paint brushes and yeah it's just really really lovely paints and i've been using them quite a bit really enjoying them you've got to be careful that you don't sort of tip this up because they can obviously spill so they're those paints i'm just moving something off my table that is making some noise there we go. So now I'm moving on to the next paint that I've got. The next ones are going to be these watercolour paints. And these are from Timu. So these ones I picked up a while ago. Again, I may have shown them on my channel. So we've got I've got the candy ones and the flower ones. They look like this. These are so affordable. I think these were under like four pounds each really really lovely you get 12 colors in this one six colors in this one this is what the flower ones look like so they're little cubes of paint these are dry um dry dry metallic watercolor paints and obviously you just get your paintbrush wet or put some water in here and then use them they're really really pretty colors and then this one here is the candy one. This has a lot more different colours. Quite a few like pastel -y colours. Again, metallic paints. Again, watercolours. Again, they come in these cubes um, and you just kind of get them wet. These ones are not still though. They do shake around and you do have to be a bit careful with them. But otherwise, these are really, really lovely affordable paints. I've then got these watercolored paints these are deco time metallic watercolor paints you can kind of see a theme i love my metallic watercolor paints um that's why i've got the other ones the other bigger set that i showed you first they're not metallic um, and i wanted some that were not metallic so yeah so these ones um these were two pounds in b&m i have not seen them since i have no idea if any other b&m sell them i haven't found them on the BNM website. I know Deco Time is also sold in the range, but I haven't seen them in the range or seen them online, which I'm really gutted about because they did this colour palette. They did ones with pinks and purples, which I did have, but I used pretty much used it up. And then there was a set which had blues in, I think, as well. But unfortunately I didn't get to buy in that. Um, and at that point they'd gone. So in this one, they come like this. So they come in trays like this. Again, these can be removed. They're quite bigger though, more bigger than the B&M ones. 
you get like a lovely array of colours and it did also come with like a water brush where you fill fill it with water and then you can kind of squirt it on here to get some water on the um, palettes so they were really that was really good um, if you do find these I would recommend these these I think I would say are my favourite watercolour metallic paints because just for the price and for what you get it is really really good so I would recommend those ones okay and then I've got these ones which are Hobbycraft metallic watercolour paints these ones are something like eight pounds I think I could be wrong but they are under 10 pounds I believe they are super affordable. Something is shaking on the table. I'm wondering if it's this. I'm going to move that. Oh, I think it could be um, this lid over here. So let's remove that. That's better. No. I really don't know what that is. So I'm just going to see. okay that's better yes so um this is what they look like as you can see i've used quite a lot of them you get such a lovely array of colors um these little squares that they're in are not removable i believe it came with a brush as well maybe they do do a non-metallic version which i've not tried but these ones are really really good for the price um and i think are great for beginners as well And then finally, the final paints that I've got to show you are not metallic paints. And these are the Abia Iridescent Acrylic Paints. I've shown these, I think, before on my channel. I don't think I did a video on them, but I showed, I showed them in completed pages. Or possibly um, when I did a haul. This is my rubbish swatch sheet. But you kind of get a gist of some of the colours. These are obviously bottled paints like this. But you do get some absolutely beautiful, beautiful colours. These, again, I think I could be wrong, but are £20 on the £20 on Amazon. Really, really lovely paints come in a lovely box. And they do give that kind of iridescent shine to pages so they are lovely paints i haven't used them in a while so i do need to get these back out but they are lovely lovely paints so that's all my paints kind of the last kind of painty item i have are paint pens and these are i'm not going to try and pronounce that but they are these paint pens like this i believe they're by lankanile um somewhere it does say that i don't know but yeah these are what they look like these ones again under 20 pounds on amazon i think i could be wrong and also some of this stuff i did pick up months ago so prices might have changed um this is what they look like so you've got the brush tip and then you've got like a um a finer tip as well lovely lovely pens they don't have any numbers on so i did at one point swatch them and stick my own numbers on but some of them started to peel off and i don't really ever look at swatches anyway i tend to just like test a bit on paper and see if it's a color that i want so for that reason um i haven't i am in the process of taking these these numbers off but these are really lovely paint pens um i will say that on cheap paper so on amazon printed paper they go patchy and they don't work as well um so i would say they work better on bigger paper also on sorry on better pe uh, quality paper i would also say that um they're they're good for for coloring a lot of things but for things like large backgrounds i wouldn't use these because i just don't think they turn out very well and you do also need to be very careful when using paint pens 
because it can cover up everything including like the outlines of pictures and different things like that but these are still really good i would recommend them um, i know obviously you can get the posca ones which are a lot more money and i've not purchased those yet and i don't think i want to i'm happy just using these for now so that's my pink pens oh finally i will just quickly show you this this is just a gray storage pot that i've got it is just plain i think this was from bnm or something and i've got like a little pot in here i use for water i've got lots of different paint brushes in here i think some of these wooden ones like this come from the works but the rest come from timu these are the water brushes that come either in the hobby craft paints i think or if not it was the b&m ones and i've also got this here this is for my gel crayons which i will show you next i've also got these for my gel crayons as well okay so moving on i'll show you my gel crayons now because i was just talking about them oh my gosh they all fell out started to fall out the packet give me a moment Okay, so here is my gel crayons they need to go back in color order but this is what they look like these are by shuttle art um here we go shuttle art gel crayons so um yeah they keep coming out so i need to i need to really sort these out i'll do that afterwards but yeah anyway these are lovely lovely gel crayons i really wanted to try gel crayons and to be honest i was struggling to find any the only ones i could find were the king art ones which i think are like over 60 pounds a lot of money and i'm all about budget but then i think it was i can't remember the youtuber but there was a youtuber who did talk about these and i decided to get them and i am really impressed the colors you get the array of colors is absolutely beautiful like these colors here are just stunning um i use them on backgrounds in pages so that's what those brushes that i showed you were for um i just rub it in and in the background so i get a bit of this on that heart shaped palette i have and then i get some on the brush and just kind of brush it onto the page um i have showed some coloring pages where i've used these but these are lovely i do want to see if i can try and use them for other things as well because I feel like um, I want to get a lot more use out of these. So these are really good. And again, they were from Amazon. I think they were under £20. Super affordable. Okay, so that's all my paint supplies. I am going to move on now and show you my... Where shall I start? I will show you my markers. Not that I actually have that many. So I'll start off with these ones. These are my y San glitter markers that look like this. I have done a whole review of these on my channel. This is what they look like. These are okay. Um, they, they're, they're, I, I do do a whole review so you can kind of see how I feel about them. But they are good. Um, I will admit the tip isn't as fine pointed as I hoped it would be. I do also find um, that on bigger surfaces they don't work very well. But they are really nice just to add little bits of glitter detail to work to um, some of my colouring books. But for big larger images I wouldn't use these. But they're okay otherwise. Um, but I do feel like I've, I don't know, I feel like I'd rather reach for glitter gel pens. But they are still, you know, they're okay and I will get my use out of them. And again, very affordable from Amazon. As you'll see, there's a theme. I've got a lot of stuff that is from Amazon. Okay, so next up, I've got my touch alcohol markers. These 
are really big and very difficult to show you. Again, I've done a whole review of these on my channel. These are the colours. These are absolutely stunning. So you get the fine tip. And then you do also get a brush tip as well. These are so, so good. These were from Shein. I believe they were like £25 at most. Super, super affordable. You can get them from Shein. I know Touch do also do the markers on Timu, TikTok shop. And I um, assume Amazon might do them as well. But super, super affordable. I used to have Ohuhu markers and they're good. But to be honest, I wish I just got these from the outset. Because these, in my opinion, are just as good. And... They do what I want to do and you get such a good array of colours and they're much more affordable. So I have actually sold my Ahuhu markers. So that is those ones. And then my final set of markers that I've got are in this wrapped roll pencil case, which are from which is from Timu. And it is just these Sharpies. Now, they are not in, in any particular order. I literally just put them in here the other day because I was sorting out my pencil cases. And the only really space I had for them was in this one. And I haven't really got anything else in here yet. So, yeah, I need to really organise them a bit better. But these are just Sharpies. I got these, like, a year ago, I think, now from the works. Really, really lovely pen uh, pens really nice to colour with again I think these are really great if you're like on a budget and you want to give colouring a go and you want to use a marker I would get these um I know the work sell them B&M sell them home bargains probably do um and I know places like WH Smith sometimes do deals on offers especially around this time of year when it's back to school and you can then get them in there um normally at good prices so I would recommend these ones I've got like these colours but you can get like different coloured packs and probably bigger packs as well for anyone that doesn't know this is what a sharpie looks like this is the pen I haven't used these in quite a while and I do miss using them actually because they are lovely lovely pens I will be using them again soon um so that is all my kind of markers that I've got I will now move on to my colored pencils okay so I literally so I literally only have two two sets of colored pencils I Colour pencils I like, but I don't like them enough to want to use different sets. So, um, yeah. So, I've got this pencil case, which is from Amazon. It's quite a big, chunky pencil case. Like, with a zip around bit here. Um, this, this, I think, was about £18. I can't quite remember. I got it last year. It's a lovely design on it. It's quite a large one. I can't remember how many it exactly stores but basically let me just unzip all this for you and i can give you the full tour so this is my brute vina pencils look at the colors in these 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 are stunning So these are what they are. Yeah, so these are all my Brute Finner pencils. As you can see, some of them I've used quite a lot of, actually. Um, that one I have. That one I've used quite a lot of as well. Um, so, yeah, some of them I have. And then I think there, were, there was a couple that actually broke when I was sharpening them, which is a bit gutted. I'm a bit gutted about, but it's fine. I love these. To be honest, they are really good. I previously used cheap pencils from, like, the pound shop. And 
they are very hard to color with these are really easy to color with super affordable again i want to say i paid around 20 pounds for them because it was um like a prime day at the time so there was a certain deal on but otherwise um i think you can just get them generally quite cheap they do different sized packs as well i do also know these are from amazon but you can get them on timu as well now i don't know what the size of this pack is but it's i think the largest size you can get or one of the largest sizes you can also get like um the macaron set which is all like pastel colors and you can get different i think there must be a metallic set or something but this is just kind of the basic set that has all the different colors in really really love these again super affordable i know you can get all these expensive pencils um like um all the all the expensive ones and to be honest i just i don't know i can't i can't really see myself ever spending a lot of money on pencils i just i don't know i just don't like to to do that and also i feel like with some pencils um you know obviously you'll use them and wear them down and then you'll have to just repurchase them anyway so i'd be happy to repurchase these if i needed to um i need to have a look but i don't know if there's any way you can just get like open stock of these pencils because as you can see there's a few colors which i have used quite a lot of and you know if i need to repurchase those colors i don't want to have to repurchase the whole set again so we'll see but yeah i'm really really happy and really love these ones and would really recommend them. Okay, it's just fine for me to put these. And then the last pack of pencils I have are some watercolored pencils. I showed these in a haul, and these are by Stationery Island Creative Collection. I love the tin these come in. Like, look at that design. So, so lovely. You get 48 colors in here if I can open it so these are all the colors up here obviously you can see here and here really really love the um, kind of set these come in I believe it came with a little brush as well I really lo like the way that they come i love the colors you get however these are very hard pencils you do have to press very hard to get any color payoff and to um color with these which is a bit annoying so it does put me off using them a bit but for the price they're really good i believe they were under 15 pounds or definitely under 20 pounds um super affordable and i suppose maybe as like a starter set they would be good. Um, I do know they also do watercolour pencils in WH Smith, which I had previously when I was younger, but I can't really remember how good they were, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, these ones, really good. And I think it's great they come in this storage tin. Um, the Brute Foolers did come in a storage tin, I believe, but because there was quite a few layers, it was a bit, a bit more difficult to get the colours out. It's much easier to see them in a pencil case. So that's why I've got that. Okay, and then um, the last kind of thing I've got to show you are my gel pens. So I love my gel pens. And all my gel pens, well, apart from one pack of gel pens, they're all in this pencil case, which is from Timu. So as you can see, this is, I'll try and hold it up to show you, all my gel pens, absolutely beautiful, love this. Um, so these are all my gel pens, now I was considering the other day to get some more gel pens, I can't remember who it was, but someone on YouTube was showing some pack of gel pens, I think it was like shuttle art ones, and they come in like, a case a bit like the case my brute foolers are in and they looked so good but i started to look up reviews of them and apparently they're not that great they're a bit scratchy and that's one thing i'm not a massive fan of in gel pens 
so I'm just gonna have to I'm just gonna stick with the ones I've got for now so I've got a random metallic pen here I've had this for years I don't even know where it's from um it's quite like a thick pen I don't even know why I've got it but I've got that so these ones here these are all from B&M these came in a set now I did stick numbers on them again for swatches but I don't ever look at my swatches so I need to get rid of these because they're not really any use because they haven't got any writing on the actual pens so we've got some of these ones here that are like multicolored. we've got some like neony colors just normal colors then it goes into like metallics and glitters so they're all my B&M gel pens they were affordable they were like four pounds for the whole pack which is good but they're not that great they are scratchy um, they're not really that yeah that good um but I do like them because they're the only kind of plain gel pens I have the non glitter ones that I have so I do kind of want to look out for some more that are non glitter that are not scratchy so I need to sort of do my research into those but then we move on to Timu gel pens these are the first gel pens I actually got from Timu I got them I think it was in the first ever order I made on Timu and these are so so good these were I want to say under four pounds like super affordable they come out really glittery they're also really um yeah they come out really gl glittery they're not scratchy at all lovely lovely pens the only downside is you don't get many colors the color palette is very limiting and I've had a look and I can't find another set like this that has like a large selection of colours. So it is a bit disappointing. But these are probably one of my favourite gel pens. So I love those. And then over here we've just got my Chromatech glitter gel pens. These are nice and I do really like the colours you get here. But I do think they are a little bit expensive for what they are. They were still still under £15. I think I paid like 14 pounds for them and you do get this pack of refills as well but there's a couple of pens where I've run out of the pen and I've used up the refill and the only way I'm going to be able to like reuse them is if I get a whole nother pack of refills but I only need like a, f a few refills so I haven't really bothered doing that because I don't want to really get a whole nother pack of refills but they are they are nice pens and then finally, the other gel pens I have are these ones from Timu. These, again, are recent purchase. These are lovely as well, a bit like the other Timu gel pens. Amazing. They are different. Um, the colour payoff is just so, so lovely. The glitter is lovely. They are so smooth, um, so juicy, not scratchy at all. Really, really recommend these. Under £5.00 an absolute amazing 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 price um i have used up as you can see the majority of the pink and there aren't any refills for this and the only other downside is a bit like the other ones you don't get many colors like the color palette is very limiting and again i've looked and they don't do any larger sizes of this so a bit disappointed in that but um, nonetheless they are really really lovely pens so that's all my gel pens the only other thing I'm going to show you is this storage box here this was from Timu it's just this purple box now this bit here you twist and it opens this I think I at one point stuffed it too much or filled it too much in this kind of is almost a little broken when it's twisted shut but it's okay so in here i thought i would just show you these anyway i've got washi tapes so i'm just gonna turn it around a minute so you can see so i've got some glittery washi tapes here i have got a couple of more washi tapes but they're in my diamond painting box 
this kind of mermaidy one, goldy one, and more glitters. I believe all my washi tapes are from the range, I think. Or all of these ones anyway. So they're all my washi tapes. And then we move on to some stickers. So I've got these little tubs from Timu. They weren't really what I was hoping for, but nonetheless, I have used them. So I've got loads of stickers in here. Um, I'm trying to think how I'm going to show you. So I've got like coffee stickers, owl stickers, more coffee like hedgehogs, a few autumnal bits and pieces. Anything else? No, that's pretty much it in this one. So these are lovely stickers. Oh, I've got some of these butterfly stickers as well. Um, Timu do lovely stickers. These are all from Timu. Really recommend them. Um, the only issue is, is I don't really have a use for stickers. So I was sticking them on things, e.g. my like laptop and things like that. But now I've like kind of not really got anywhere to stick them anymore. And it's a shame, really. I should probably use some in my colouring or things like that. I've then got some pens, of course, because these are... I don't know, but they're from B&M. They're not branded. I think they're just B&M branded. Come in a pack. I love these types of pens. Really lovely to write with. Some sticky notes. These are a bit bent, actually, but they came from Timu. And then I've got some of these heart stickers, which I have used in some of my colouring books. And these are from Timu, I believe, all of them. So we've got those kind of multicoloured hearts. This one with, like, hearts and dots. Some blue ones. Some pink ones we've got some tabs here from timu these are used in either my books or in my coloring books if i'm um wanting to mark my completed pages in fact i'm gonna keep these no i'll put these away but i have got some other ones which are out which i'm almost finished with so i've then got this craft sensations sticker pack this is from the range <laughs> again this is not really coloring related to be honest because i mean some of them i could use in coloring books but it's more for like journaling and all that kind of thing I and mean, it's all falling apart to be honest i'm not a massive fan of fan of them that much i have used some but that was mainly when I was doing things like scrapbooking. We've then got another set of um, stickers. So these ones are... So some of the same ones before, like butterflies, owls, some cute teddy bears. Some love theme ones. Oh, we've got some some really, really cute ducks. And then some lovely frogs as well. These are super, super cute. I actually miss my stickers, but I've just got no use for them. I need to really find something to use them in. Even if I just use them in, like, say, a colouring book or in, like, just a notebook, just doing like sticker pages I don't really know but yeah these are all these really cute stickers and then got these stars these are also from actually I don't know if these are from Timu these might be from the range the only annoyance is they come on a strip so you can't really take like one star off you have to like take the whole strip of stars which is a little annoying you can kind of cut it um yeah, another pack of stickers okay so these ones are like loved themed ones and then like donut ones 
Um, some more teddy bears. Super, super cute. This donut looks so nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. Basically, that's what that one and that donut just fell out. So, let's put that away. And what else is in here? These are autumnal themed stickers. Again, I use them with scrapbooking. I haven't really used them since. I should probably just clear some of these stickers out, but I do kind of want to use them. So more of these star stickers, these must have come in either like a really large pack or like two sheets in a pack or something. We've got then some of these weather stickers. These were, oh gosh, the, the weather stickers were from the range. These food themed stickers, these are from the range. And then something just fall on the floor, just some stickers. Um, and then we've got these silver circular stickers, which are from the range as well. And I think that's, yeah, that's all empty now. So yeah, I know it's kind of went off on a bit of like a detour looking at my stickers but um i do hope you like this video anyway i will try and leave links to everything i can down below and yeah yeah i just hope you like it and i'll see you in my next video bye bye